Hi, draw your friends. Today we will show you how you can create a diagram that every company needs, an org chart. There are two ways of dealing with this standard use case in Drawio. The first one, which we will be covering today, is using our default org chart template to create org charts fast. But you can also create powerful org charts using pictures, custom shapes and links to unleash the full power of your company structure. Drawio offers a custom shape, which you can access via the search console of the shape library. Just enter the term org chart and click on the shape or drag it to the workspace. This org chart is a container that holds various functions and settings. We'll go through them one by one. But first, let's expand the org chart a bit. You can do this using the blue arrows of the shapes, or you can use the shortcut Shift plus Alt plus cursor keys, which is command instead of control on the Mac. Sideways movements create shapes on the same layer, and the downward cursor key creates downstream shapes. A quick tip, if you color your shapes at this point, these colors will always be used when creating the substructure. Let's move on to the functions. First of all, you can already see that your org chart is equipped with an expand and collapse function, which means your shapes can be minimized and maximized. If you want to hide this function, you can do so from the menu bar by first clicking on tools and then uncheck collapse and expand. Another feature in your newly created org chart is the ability to move entire shape trees. Just click on a shape of your choice, but don't move the shape now. Instead, watch out for the blue control cross at the lower right edge. Click on the control pad and drag the shape and its substructure to its new location. You probably like to link your departments, functions or personas to add follow-up information. You can find our playlist above on how to link your shapes in Confluence Cloud. The functionality is the same in Confluence Server and Data Center, only the menus look a little different. Last but not least, you may want to customize your org chart a little bit. For example, you can remove the frame and the title. Or you can click on the workspace to activate the global settings in the format panel and choose from different options in the style tab. In this case, we decided on rounded corners. We do without a theme for now because we already have coloring in the diagram. Did you ever think that an org chart could be that simple? 